So about a month and some change ago, I celebrated my 29th birthday on this planet. Um, the last year of my roaring 20s before the big 3-0. And for lack of a better term, at the time I felt like a complete loser. To summarize it at the time, I'm a musician. As you can see, my music career has not taken off in the way I wanted it to. Pretty much all my relationships, whether they were friendships or, or family type of relationships, it weren't doing too hot over some nonsense that I was causing, for sure. In essence, I just felt like I wanted to hide from the world all the time. But I hit this point in my life where I felt like I was hitting this glass ceiling, so to speak. Everything that I would try, I would do really well for a little bit, and then I would just hit this barrier and it would all kind of come crashing downwards. And this was with anything, you know, whether it was my music that I was trying to do, whether it was any of the relationships I was trying to manage, whether it was even things like my own health, you know, mental, physical, um, just at some point, you know, it was almost like clockwork and then just it all would just fizzle out, you know. And so that place I was in, that feeling of being this loser, you know, was just so painful that I knew I had to do anything else from what I was already trying to just get out of it. And so for the past month, this is about uh, my fourth week doing a little bit of an experiment that's been working for me. This method to just unlock all of my potential, you know, and all this stuff that I want to talk about is just stuff that's been working for me personally. I've been getting a lot of coaching help from Albert Lopez and I'll have his YouTube channel and stuff linked below. But I just want to make it clear that this is all stuff that I've just experienced and has been working, you know, pretty well for me so far. Unfortunately, I wish I had kept progress from the get-go. You know, this is about to be coming up on my fifth week. And I'll try to bring stuff up from the previous weeks as it's relevant, but essentially here's how it started. So first things first, I had to admit to myself, I was a loser. And the reason I was a loser is because what I was saying about myself in my own head is exactly what I was in the real world. And so I had to start from that place of accepting that I was a loser and I had to focus on becoming a winner. And so the place that I started from was the idea of building discipline because to build discipline to me is to build confidence and then to build confidence is to have love for yourself. And it's really interesting because all my life I've heard, well, just love yourself, you know, have self-love, have love for yourself, get yourself nice things, get yourself exactly what you need, make sure you're comfortable. But none of those things ever really brought me any sense of self-love. And if it did, it was kind of a quick blip, you know, and suddenly I'd be kind of back down down here, you know, somewhere below, below zero in like a negative number state, let's say. And so because I was afraid of other people perceiving me as a loser, I was afraid of people finding out that I was a loser, I was a loser. So now the solution was to focus on becoming a winner. And the path forward that I have found for myself to becoming a winner is to build discipline. Here's what I did on the very first week to get me out of that mindset. So first things first, I wanted to make sure that I always kept my frequency high. And what does it mean to have a high frequency? It means to have your thoughts in a very high, attuned with the universe place. And if you have good thoughts, you'll have good feelings and thus you'll have good actions. And so this process that was explained to me, the idea of building discipline in order to build confidence in myself and thus build love for myself was very much rooted in the idea of just keeping this frequency, your attunement to the universe high. So first off, the very first week, just to see if I was down for this shit, you know, my coach basically told me Every time I would eat a meal, you take a spoonful of your meal and you just toss that away. Sorry, I think you can't cuss on YouTube. I remember I had this really brutal moment the first day because I made myself a really excellent sandwich. And before digging in, I sliced off a little corner of my sandwich. And my perfect like Scooby-Doo cartoon club sandwich and just dunked it in the trash. And I think every like Hispanic lesson of not wasting food in the back of my brain was just firing on all cylinders. But for a whole week, I ended up doing that. Anytime I would eat, just separate a little spoonful of the food and throw it away. And through doing that, I kind of taught myself just to have, you know, enough discipline that I was telling myself that I didn't have to eat everything on my plate, which was huge for me because I not only do I love food, but 
I was taught, you know, to not waste it, you know, as you were growing up to finish everything on your plate. And thankfully the food tossing experiment was a success. And in essence, I kind of showed myself that I was down to give this discipline thing a shot. So now here's where the real fun begins. This is week two, but technically more so, this is like the real week one of trying this stuff out. The very first week, I took a picture of myself without a shirt. Now I'm gonna be shy. I'm gonna show the picture right here, I swear. You'll see it and it's full goblin belly glory. And this picture in essence is gonna be like my check-in days at the start of every month. So actually after I'm done filming this video, believe it or not, will be my second check-in for these pictures. Because again, this is an experiment for discipline. What's gonna end up transforming with my body is actually more so of a bonus. So I'd have the same thing every day, a slice of toast with some PB on it. And then for lunch and dinner, it'd be the same thing. Primarily proteins, uh, less so of carbohydrates, and then about an equal amount of green crucifixurus, crucifericus, that's like the Bible, Never mind. crustaceous, green, green vegetables. And keep in mind the portion was way less than I was accustomed to. So it would be essentially like about this much of chicken, about a spoonful or two of rice. And the vegetables were the fun part. I do like me some good old broccoli, some good old spinach, some Brussels sprouts. That was going to be my meal every day. You know, no, no sugar, no alcohol, no processed foods, I suppose, no legal fireworks. And that other aspect of it, the aspect of keeping my frequency high was going to be dedicated to two things. The first thing I was gonna do was just gonna be a set of push-ups that I was gonna do until I felt winded. And I was gonna do them three times a day, the start of the morning, when I got home, and then before bedtime. I don't know why I wiggled my fingers in that order. And in addition to that, I was also gonna do it when I was feeling a little bit, just kind of like, shall we say low frequency, a little bit kind of complaining, a little bit whiny, a little just not feeling too hot, push-up time pretty much. And most of the time I couldn't, you know, get down to the floor and do them even off the side of the car, essentially was okay. But I had my two things that week. The diet was supposed to keep my discipline in check make sure I was sticking to the diet. And the exercises were there to make sure that I was keeping my frequency in check, keeping that frequency elevated, keeping it high. Because again, none of this diet and exercise stuff was for my body. That would be more so a bonus. It was more so for building that discipline. Through building that discipline, I was going to build confidence in myself. And then through that confidence, I was going to build love in myself. And when I couldn't exercise, say I was stuck on the freeway and stuff, I would just start thinking of things that I was grateful for. Really weird stuff too, you know? Sometimes it'd be grateful for the power lines because people don't really think about how our ancestors, our ancestors, it's not, it wasn't that long ago, but people wouldn't think about how that was just kind of already there set up for us, you know? Or be grateful for like the truck drivers on the freeway or bees for making honey. And I would just try to continue to find things to be grateful for, you know, so that my line of thinking itself just started turning more positive. You know, the vocabulary that I was using just started becoming more positive. The way I was appreciating things started becoming more and more present to me. And through following that diet, I began to realize just how much I relied on food and just entertainment distractions as a vice, especially distractions, which I had never realized was such a prominent thing for me. I realized how much I was just distracted on the road. I realized that there was never a time, I think in my 20s, where I wasn't watching like a YouTube video or something while I was eating dinner. And so I began to focus on just eliminating as much of that stuff as I could, while also sticking to the diet and the exercise to keep my discipline in check, you know, and, and my frequency high. In the first week, my creativity was at an all time high. I felt like I had a lot of energy and things were going generally very well. Week two, I noticed people started to just approach me different, you know, people seemed friendlier, um, things seemed easier to do, you know, the harder stuff got way easier to do. But of course, nothing had changed except my own perspective on things. But week three went pretty crazy because that was the first time I remember my pants started fitting differently. And every week I was actually adding new exercises to the routine. So. I started off with only push-ups, then I added some dips. Then after that, I was also doing leg lifts, and then after that, squats. So bear in mind, this was every time I would wake up, every time I would come back home, and then every time I would go to bed. 
And this isn't just like the morning coming home and then bedtime ones either. Like every time I felt like my frequency was feeling a little bit low, I would either do the sets of these four exercises when my frequency was feeling low, or I would just try to do my best to shift into a gratitude mindset. Or even like sometimes I would just find myself doing something physical. Sometimes I'd go on just like quick walks, but just something to make sure that I kind of snapped back into the moment and kept my frequency high. And I actually started settling on some numbers. You know, they started kind of small. Some of them were at five, some of them were at 10. Where I'm at at the moment of recording this is I do 20 push-ups, uh, 20 dips, 20 squats, and 20 leg lifts. But I was seeing the world itself react to me differently because of how much I was changing. And this is all within the first couple of weeks, like just through following this, I'm even having to leave out a bunch of stuff that because so much occurred that it's just hard to remember everything even. But no matter what, the focus in the end was just building a disciplined mind. I was making more money with this new mindset. My relationships are just improving. The way I interacted with the world, I felt the universe just in return shower me with a bunch of good energy, you know? And in myself, I was trying to feel a little bit like, oh, maybe I actually like this person. Maybe this person is a badass. And I could feel love for myself truly starting to form. And most of all, confidence in myself starting to form. And maybe perhaps most importantly of all, because this is something I realized that I've never had, I've had zero of it during the 30 years I've been on this planet, is I started to build some discipline for myself. And I think I'll talk about what actually is going on this week, funnily enough. This is all just a summary as best as I could of the past couple of weeks. But in summary, I'm building discipline for myself, which is building confidence in myself, something I've never had, either of those, which is building love for myself, which again, something I never truly had. And so the end goal of all this is to become the ideal version of myself that I would admire. And it's been a badass four weeks so far, you know, and I'm sure I'm leaving out a lot of ugly stuff, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of lessons that I've learned. But I feel like for once in my life, I'm really starting to rack up some wins for myself and I'm really starting to feel like a confident winner. And it was on just through the dieting, the set of exercises, the gratitude, and a couple of other tools that I hope I will get to explain that I've been learning over the past few weeks. And this is all stuff that I've been personally experiencing. And I'm primarily making these videos, not only just to kind of track my own progress, but because I feel like I believe in this stuff very much so, and it's been working very well for me. And of course, I'll be back next week with another video, because I think I know where to take it from here. I'm gonna goblin body pose again, but this time I know it'll, it'll go better than the first week pick, that's for sure. No one be mean to me.